Let's take a moment and walk through the equalizer settings on Pioneer's DEHX 5700 HD. So from any source we're going to press in on the volume control and we're going to roll along until we find the audio menu. Here's the audio menu and press enter and then we're going to roll along until we find the EQ settings. Here we are with the EQ settings and press enter. Here you'll see a number of equalizer presets, equalizer preset curves, flat curve, super bass, powerful curve, natural curve, and the vocal curve. Many of these preset curves may sound very good to you, and if they do, you can use those. Or you could go to one that sounds pretty good and some, make some adjustments to it. So let's go over to the next setting, which is custom number one. And we will press in on the volume control. And here, we can choose a frequency to adjust, like 80 hertz, and press in. And we can choose to boost or cut that frequency. So here we'll choose 80 hertz and we'll make it a minus 5. Press in again to go back to the frequency and we will choose uh, 2.5K. And press in and make an adjustment there of plus 6. So we've made an adjustment to custom number one. Now the custom number one EQ setting is an independent EQ setting for each source. So the CD source, the auxiliary input source, and everything plugs in through USB and AM FM all have their own custom number one settings. Let's go back and we can roll over to custom number two. Custom number two works exactly the same way as custom number one. If we press in, we can make an adjustment uh, to uh, a given frequency and uh, choose a different one there. The custom number two is a shared EQ setting across all sources. At any time, you can exit the EQ menu by pressing the band button.